let's take a tour of Jim Henson's fantastic world. Images scribbled on paper that would magically become larger than life. Original sketches that would evolve into sensational commercials and television shows. Step through the doors of Jim Henson's fantastic world and you'll enter the imagination of a man who gave us lovable creatures and the inspiration to keep believing. Decades after his first Muppet appeared on television, Fans of Jim Henson still admire his extraordinary contributions to creative entertainment. In 2007, the Smithsonian Institute collaborated with the Henson family and the Jim Henson legacy to celebrate his life and share it with audiences around the country. The Henson Company has a very extensive archives. We have a collection of artwork, papers, documents, Jim Henson's papers, puppets, film, video, photographs. So there's a lot of wonderful material and uh, we are always looking for ways to share it with the public. After Jim died, a lot of people wanted to give him awards and honor him and such and so I realized that there really was a lot of interest in the historic pieces. Jim and his company, of course the whole company, turned out a lot of beautiful productions and I really was very concerned that the material about Jim and by Jim and his company was kept being out there. I was the, one of the early people having early conversations with the Henson family and with Karen Falk about, you know, what should we do and wouldn't it be great to take Jim Henson's work well beyond the people who know him in New York and take it out to the country. We told sites about the archives that we had and that we would be able to have available some of the puppets and a lot of on-the-wall paperwork, original artwork of Jim's and a lot of storyboards and plans for shows and things that were really quite interesting and had never really been seen. It's amazing, he kept a lot of things, a lot of scraps of paper, a lot of prototypes, a lot of um, elements of his career have been saved and kept. So it takes a real good curatorial eye to go through all that stuff and then find the story that you can tell with that. Karen Falk is the historian and lead archivist for the Jim Henson Company. As the curator of the exhibit, she was instrumental in selecting pieces that capture the story of a great storyteller. When I first came to the Henson Company, I was astounded by these fabulous drawings that nobody had ever seen. I just wanted to share it with people. We really wanted to talk about Jim the Man. A lot of people know about the Muppets, they know about Sesame Street, but they might not know about the man behind the Muppets. And we felt it was really important to tell Jim's story and to show his creative thinking and how he came up with his ideas and where these ideas came from. As an exhibits person, you really look at somebody else who's in the creative world and you understand how much pre-planning goes in. So what looks like a few scribbles on a page and then ends up to being you know, a puppet is, um, or a Muppet in a complete world is really fascinating. I think what's fun about this exhibit is you start to see the mind of this creator and you can see that he was just, his mind was just constantly cranking and coming up with new concepts and new ideas and new ways of animating and new visuals, new puppetry. It's been really terrific working with Jane Henson and Heather Henson on this exhibit. Um, Jane is sort of the uh, fire underneath our passion for getting this historic uh, material out there. She really supported the archives from the beginning and has been very supportive of this project. And she came in while we were choosing objects and made her recommendations based on her personal experience. And of course that makes for a much deeper story. There seems to be an increase of interest this many years later. It's become a piece of history now. What happened in the, now that we're into another century and the Muppets were really popular in the second half of the 20th century, part of the, an important part of the pop culture. A lot of audiences now who are adults remember them from when they were children. And so we find that the enthusiasm is more than we had hoped for. <laughs>